And now, Splunk Cybersecurity 60 Second Charity Challenge. Remember the rules. You've got to get through an entire subject in 60 seconds, or you donate to today's charity of choice. Good luck. All right, so today's charity challenge is all about Cybersecurity Awareness Month, which is October, and it is October 3rd, which is crazy that it's already that time of year. Uh, but the charity for this week is the Cybersecurity Education Foundation, which aims to deliver cybersecurity education for people and organizations to promote cybersecurity awareness and prepare them for cybersecurity careers. And so with it being Awareness Month, the challenge today is to summarize your thoughts on cybersecurity awareness, the pros and the cons. Is it effective? Is it not effective? How could it be more effective? That's the gist of it. So who wants to go first? Well, are you picking which side we take or are we just going to flip well, a digital coin? Are you prepared for either side or do you do you want to pick? I will dance in whatever direction you would like us to dance, Audra. Do you want to uh, give both sides? Brian, do you, do you prepare for both? Are you going to freestyle? I, mean, I am just so incredible confident in everything that I do, Mick. I feel like I can just pick. I, I know. You mentioned that. Why don't, that, we, um, why don't we give yeah. that to our new voice of God? Daniela, who is pro and who is con? To be clear, we are talking about Cybersecurity Awareness Month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, Ryan, your pro and make your against. <laughs> Perfect. Who wants to go first is the other question. Mick, your choice as the reigning winner for 2023. <laughs> uh, you know what? I will let you go first. Okay? I am shocked. I am shocked to hear that. I'm um, giving you the rope, as they say. Mm, yeah. I mean, I'm going to vamp for a second here. Uh, have we picked what charity we're going to do? I already announced the charity. Damn it. All right. <laughs> I can't, ah. I can't take any more time. <laughs> okay. There, God, it's already going. So here's the thing about Cybersecurity Awareness Month. A lot of people still go through their lives blissfully unaware of the threats that face them every single day on the internet. And without incredible motivational speeches and posters and emails and lectures and Zoom webinars, how will our users know what's happening? I say this only partly in jest. Um, for those of you who are very bored, feel free to read my master's thesis on the efficacy of spear phishing and education training, which actually did show a significant improvement in the reduction of clicks on spear phishing emails. Now, this has been going on, and thankfully, since 2014, we've completely solved and eradicated spear phishing. So we can see that this education of users against, I am not doing good on being pro cybersecurity awareness month. Um, what I will say is for people who have never been exposed to these threats, there is a lot of value in this. And I think that there's things that we can really emphasize like education on machine learning threats. <laughs> well, I mean, your master's thesis, Ryan, that's pretty, pretty substantial, right? Yeah. I mean, and it's definitely not old at this point. Um, yeah. uh, I should have stood up for myself. I should have taken the con. Go for it, Mick. All right, so it's October, Cybersecurity Awareness Month once again. And that's that one time of the year we magically care about cybersecurity and nothing else. Uh, it seems like we argue a lot internally as a community, whether it's CSAM or Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and that kind of takes CSAM. away from it. Uh, you can look at Rob Joyce in a tweet from 2021. He said CSAM. Uh, and it's not the point. Did you know that 70% of data breaches are caused by human error? So... People that are just going to be susceptible uh, to get tricked by things in general, because we're people, you want me to be a cyber defender front lines and defend against all these zero days we just talked about for the past 20 minutes, which is not going to happen. I barely remember where I put my keys, let alone my password combinations. The reason why MFA, we keep stressing it is because that way there's a, a way you can get your password back when you forget it because we make it be so complex with all these numbers and letters. So once a month, we care about it and that's supposed to last the year and it doesn't work and that's why it's a bad idea <laughs> okay let us know what you think in the comments <laughs> if you think ryan won or no no, no. Won. let's change the narrative here uh uh if you think cybersecurity awareness month is a good idea vote for me <laughs> nope it's all about the argument who made the better argument take away your own opinions for a minute who had you the are, better argument you, you can brutal. share it okay. in the in the That's chat brutal. 
Um, I will say I, I appreciate the spearfishing research. That's interesting. Although spearfishing is definitely not solved. So <laughs> this information, disinformation there. Um, and Mick, I, I appreciate the, uh, the point about zero days and, and really that's not the responsibility of an end user to worry about that. However, the number one attack vector is phishing. So whose responsibility is it, right? Like, is it the end user? Is it us? Like who? Um, thank you, David. I, I won. <laughs> I, I mean, that's a reasonable outcome. <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh, Mitch, you have a vote from Victoria. I, I'm guessing that's a vote if she thinks you're funny. So there you go. Who um, is Mitch? I don't know. Mitch? It's the same person Marcus. Um, oh, that's funny. Account. <laughs> Listen, you know what's funny? Before, before we started this live stream, I accidentally called Mick Mitch. And he got really mad at me. <laughs> like she just, I was like a portmanteau of my name. She was just so Mitch. Mitch how's the weekend? I was like, who? Mitch <laughs> and it was oh. a genuine accident. I like it just came out that way. I was like combining Mick and Baccio, and it came out Mitch. I like Michio. <laughs> it's okay, Michio. Victoria. Michio. I've done it too. Michio. Michio. Oh. Right. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I called him Marcus earlier. I've known him for ten years. It's fine. It's uh, yeah, completely. Yeah. So Ryan, you have a vote because of quantitative metrics. Well, it's kind of. I, I think Kevin's saying like yes, but Mick is right. So think, uh... <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, so... Ryan had stats that supported an outdated theory. <laughs> well, right. so who won? Let's see. I vote Mick. That's uh, um. Okay, because you agree with his stance. So maybe well, the we'll argument say it. is solid. It's um, okay. Yeah. Yep. Mick won. You got another vote. So there will, you go. I will happily be donating um, to this cause. So yes. 